Woman who lost her husband of 60 years makes one dramatic decision. Nowadays, once-in-a-lifetime accomplishments happen all the time, young kids wow adults with their prodigious musical skills, millennials become millionaires overnight, and practically anyone can get their 15 minutes of fame if they try hard enough. Still, as any elder could tell you, it hasn't always been this easy. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Donzella Washington has spent her entire life making other people's dreams come true. For 80 years, her biggest goal was to give her family a good life, one with as much opportunity as possible. There was no time to consider her own future, that is, until tragedy sent her on the adventure of a lifetime. 80-year-old Donzella Washington carried a heavy past everywhere she went. It wasn't all bad, but it was heavy enough that she occasionally wondered how she'd gotten so far, and how she'd continue without Jeff. As a black woman growing up during the civil rights era in California, Donzella faced obstacles that many of us have never encountered. She never felt like she had a voice, and that was further exacerbated by one childhood problem she just couldn't overcome. Donzella had a stutter, which made everything from answering questions in class to chatting with friends a nerve-wracking experience. Her self-esteem plummeted every time she stumbled over a word, and eventually, she avoided even opening her mouth at all. Still, Donzella knew that having a voice was only one way of getting things done. Actions speak louder than words, and Donzella made this her mantra as she grew older. The power of prayer, she believed, was all she needed. As a young woman, she often prayed to meet the man who would become her husband. When she hit it off with Jeff, she knew her prayers had been answered, but she had no idea just how epic their love story would be. Donzella and Jeff moved to a farm in Pixley, California, where they spent the next 50 years working, farming, and adding to their family. They took everything life threw at them with ease, even when life pitched them one huge curveball. The curveball was in the form of foster kids. Over the next few decades, they fostered not one, not two, but 30 kids, and learned firsthand how fostering is not a task for the faint at heart. During this time, Donzella did what she could to keep the household afloat. She worked in a police department and then in a bank, putting her own dreams aside so she could focus on her children. Her mission was to give every child she fostered the most precious gift. She gave up her own dreams so that all of her kids could accomplish theirs. Jeff encouraged her to take time for herself, but she made it her duty to give those kids a great life. Still, no good deed goes unpunished, and in 2010, Donzella faced the unimaginable. Her mother and sister died, followed by Jeff. The farm, which was once filled with the sounds of family, was suddenly silent. Donzella was thrown into an unfamiliar world, she couldn't imagine chasing after her goals without Jeff to guide her. My father was my mother's number one fan. He supported everything she did, said Donzella's daughter, Kimberly. Especially returning to school. Donzella's dream of going to college had lain in wait for decades, but she couldn't fathom doing it without Jeff rooting her on. After she moved in with her daughter in Alabama, though, she couldn't get the idea out of her head. She was pushing 80 and had a lifetime of experience behind her, so she made a life-changing decision. In 2013, she took a course at Lawson State Community College just to see what it was like. Soon, she added another course and then another. Before long she was amassing credits left and right. She just needed to decide on a major. It was only natural that Donzella aspired to earn her degree in social work. No matter how old she was, Donzella was passionate about helping people. She got her associate's degree in 2017, but by then, she had her sights set on an even loftier goal. She enrolled at A&M University in Alabama with the intent of achieving her bachelor's degree in social work. Donzella worked hard to keep her dream alive, but there were agonizing moments when she couldn't imagine getting that bachelor's degree. There were a lot of tears and late night studying at 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning, Donzella admitted. I want to inspire and motivate others that age is not a barrier, she emphasized. Still, she struggled to keep her main goal in sight. Whenever the homework or course material got overwhelming, Donzella remembered what she was trying to prove. I want to emphasize the life between the dash, she explained. All the while, she kept her largest motivator to herself. That is, until one Friday afternoon in 2019. That was the day Donzella, wearing a smart black graduation cap, accepted her diploma from A&M University. She accepted it for herself, 
but also for the one person who cheered her on the most. I wanted to finish in his honor, she said, citing Jeff as her main reason for finally achieving her lifelong goal. His spirit got her through some of the hardest times in her life, and as she held her magna cum laude diploma high, she had one piece of advice for the graduates. It's never too late, Donzella implored. Please finish that dream. A&M's oldest graduate, who was once too timid to speak, is now considering getting her master's degree. After all, she's only 80 elders 10 years her senior have crossed far stranger goals off their bucket lists.